With the end of EA's exclusivity contract on the Star Wars IP, we've gotten what will surely be the first of many announcements of new Star Wars games that are under development. And this is a very good thing. Competition is always good. Here's what we know from Ubisoft and Massive Entertainments. Press release on January 13th. It's open world. My first reaction to that is... Bummer. In my typical playthrough of, say, Skyrim or any open world game is do tons of side quests first and then do that main story last so that by the time I'm done, playing through again isn't something I really want to do. Along with the open worldness, they did mention that it was story driven. Unfortunately, they did not elaborate. So what they consider story driven and good characters, I really don't know. Here's hoping that when they say story driven, they actually mean it. The second thing that this announcement actually gives us detail on is the engine. They're using their Snowdrop engine, as I understand it, it was started back in 2008, but didn't get first use until 2013 or so. It's had quite a bit of development and is supposed to be game agnostic. Now, whether that just means it's a one-size-fits-all and we're going to get a generic experience, that we don't really know. And they have mentioned in previous articles about Snowdrop how they've expanded it, especially for the Avatar game. And what I've seen of the footage they've shown, it looks very nice. I think it looks better than Frostbite, and I think it matches, or at least is darn close, to Unreal 5. So, what else do we know? Basically nothing. It would be great to know the writing credits. It would also be nice to know some of the design philosophy and how they're going to create the quests, the world, and the various interactions that you're going to have. So, in conclusion, we get a new Star Wars game at some time. Hopefully it doesn't get canceled, as Ubisoft has just canceled several games in development. But Star Wars is a pretty big IP and has a good chance of making it through. So here's hoping EA's loss of exclusivity gives us, the consumer, more products, better products. What do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? Leave us your thoughts and comments below. And remember, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.